Hello, it is currently the 16th of November. Excuse how I look, I have a fake tan layer on. I actually tried the new Bondi Sands one that everyone's been like promoting. Like I saw Sammy Robinson promote it um, and it looked freaking amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't used Bondi Sands in a hot minute. I've been using Bali Body just because I love it. Um, but I just wanted to give this a go because it looked just, yeah, amazing. So I went out and bought that yesterday after work and then put a layer of it on this morning um, just because I have a few birthday outfits coming that I wanna try on and I don't want to hate them. My birthday is not until the 3rd of December, so everything won't be like complete until that week anyway. Um, so this is my plan. Oh, my computer just locked. My plan is, well, I was originally going to get my hair done the week before my birthday, which is the 20, which would have been the 24th of November. I was going to get it done on Wednesday because I have that day off work. Um, but I called and so, because I'm just really impulsive, so I'm just going to pop you up where I can just speak. Even though my windowsill is dusty. Hi. Um, and this lighting is really bad. Anyway, so I was just going to get like a normal like cut and like trim and like get layers back in my hair because I haven't had it done since the last lockdown, obviously. Um, and look, my hair is quite easy to like maintain. Like there's no like real, like no diet or anything, but... I get bored so easily and instead of like butchering my own hair myself, especially because it's going to like nearly be my birthday and I don't want to feel shit, um, I got inspired and I kind of want to go for like this type of look, except I got a bit under pressure and I don't actually know what I asked for on the phone, so we're just going to see what happens tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I had to end up booking for tomorrow, which is a week before I was meant to get it done. But this just gives me some time to get used to it, hopefully be able to like style it and stuff. Um, and then I just want to get like these cut again, like everything cut and just in one, in like a good condition, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's going to be my day tomorrow. The appointment's at 9am. So this is a little before. It's like just my normal colour, just like dark, dark brown. And look, Fine for winter, fine when, for when like I don't really care about my hair. This is a before and I'll show you guys the after, obviously tomorrow. Week of my birthday, so I'll be doing it on the Wednesday. So the 1st of December, I'm going to get my nails done again. Because these are still from the first time back. But it was like a few weeks ago, like three weeks ago now maybe. Yeah, you just want to be coming along with me on this journey. And that's it. Good morning. Well, <laughs> it really is morning when my voice is croaky. Um, it is 7.15 and today's the day I'm getting my hair done. Um, I, I'm like quite anxious about it, not gonna lie, it's a bit of a silly thing to be anxious about, but anyway, just because I still don't know like 100% like what I'm exactly doing, because I have to kind of like ask, <sighs> anyways, it's gonna be an expensive day. The colour of that Bondi Sands tan didn't really like go as dark as I thought it would. I left it on for about like four hours, um, and it said leave on for one hour because it's an express tan for like a dark tan and then leave for two to three hours for like the darkest tan but i've had tans darker than this this is the color it's not bad it's not bad but my bali body one came out quite a lot dark so i'm gonna quickly go have a shower um brush my hair i might do like i'm gonna definitely brush my eyebrows <laughs> and then yeah i'm gonna get like myself a bit ready and i'll probably check back in when i get home um because i'm gonna bring my camera and I have to put it on charge, so. But I'll haul you guys what I got if I get anything and, like, show you my hair. Hopefully it looks good. Okay. I think I hate it. Um, I've gone through, like, 50 emotions. I'll kind of bring it up more in the light. These bits are a bit orange. I'm hoping that will go away once I, like, wash it and stuff a bit. But I just got home and, like, curled it and stuff because I only got to dry it off at the salon. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks different on camera. I literally don't know how I feel because I normally like don't curl from up here, but I'm going to have to because you can see like the streaks. Like it looks so much better when it's curled and like all blended. But yeah, there's like bits and pieces like here really annoys me how it's like really streaky here. I never, like I don't know why I thought I'd suit this. I went blonde ages ago. And, like, I remember just being like, no, I'm dying it to brown, like, straight away. But that was, like, my own doing. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's going to take me ages to get used to it. 
Okay, you're currently balancing on a candle, um, but this is the only place I could kind of show you guys what I got from Kmart. <laughs> um, so, first up, I got these like gift tags. My mum gets them like all the time, but we had like none left last year, I don't think. So I thought I'd just get my own. They were only a dollar for a hundred and just has like cute little things. Um, next up. I got my own Christmas mug because my Christmas mug ended up becoming my boyfriend's like mug when he stays here for some reason. So I got myself like a little Rudolph mug and I'm really excited about it. Um, this one was $5 I believe. I do have my receipt but I don't know where I put it. Next up I've got these novelty wire string lights and they're like little Santa Claus. I didn't check but these are like 2.9 meters but I normally just put my string lights like around my TV like around the bottom so I'm going to decorate today I think because I'm going to change my bedding and like vacuum my room and stuff I'm in a little bit of a pit because of my hair so I'm just like trying to calm myself down and then last but not least I got this little wooden like it says mini Christmas scene how cute is that and it lights up so it just has like trees at the back and it'll look really cool like reflecting on the wall so i'm gonna put that on one of the bedside tables and i also have a christmas tree i'll show you guys when i like set it all up but i'm really excited so that's it for me it is kind of a bit later it is 6 30 to be exact um i've tried to film this bit like three times it's not even an important bit like i just am unhappy with the way i'm rambling so i'm gonna cut it short basically if you can't tell i popped on some makeup um this lighting is so bad I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> is it like where I'm sitting? I tried to see if I would like my hair a bit better. I'm about to go pop my dinner in the oven. I Like I said, I went to the um, shops and I just did like a bit of a grocery shop. Yeah, and then I picked up dinner for myself tonight because it's just me. My boyfriend has, is at his house. So I picked up just like a little microwave meal. <laughs> it was like a Weight Watchers one. Um, it's a mushroom and pumpkin risotto. So yeah, I was just craving risotto and that was the only brand that had it. So I'm just going to go pop that in the oven now. Goodbye. Okay, I thought I would show you guys the stuff in action. Like, look how cute that looks. Just reflecting on the wall. I mean, this... There we go. That's so cute. I love it. It's not actually fully dark yet, but I put everything on or else I would never be able to. These are little lights. They're going to be really hard to show. But they're like all around the TV. And then this makes a lot of noise, so I probably will switch it off. But this is the tree that I have. It just like changes color. Um, and then the gingerbread house actually probably needed a change of batteries, which I forgot about. But that's that there. And it's really cute and it normally lights up. And that's everything. Um, <laughs> I mean, when I get a house, I'll probably do more, obviously, but right now it's a bit pointless, so yeah. Um, I'm just going to watch Dynasty. Just had my dinner. It was actually really good. And going to have a cake bar because I'm actually really full, so yeah. Um, good night. Okay, update. It is now Friday and I got my hair done on Wednesday, so two days ago. And yesterday, let me just shut my door, it's a bit embarrassing. Yesterday, I literally spent like the whole day crying. I don't even know if you can tell. Oh, I just forgot my fucking iced coffee is on my bed. <laughs> Lucky it didn't spill. But yeah, so, got my hair done Wednesday, so like two days ago. And as you can tell, I love the bottom of it. Like I love this color. I love how it's like spread out and everything. But the top of my head is what I hate. And <laughs> you guys can probably tell by like the last few clips that I wasn't very like confident in the hair but my family were like no like it looks good like blah 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 like it'll probably like fade and stuff and it's been like like I said today is Friday so it's been like almost three days since I've actually had it in my hair kind of <laughs> um and I just don't like it I am not someone to wear my hair up often um and it's literally been shoved up or like shoved back for like the majority of the time that I've had it done which makes me upset because like I obviously paid quite a bit of money like it's not heaps but it's like you know still like hard-earned money for me and I just 
am not in love with it and it's not exactly what I wanted like the top bits are so like as you can probably tell from like my other clips like they're very harsh on my hair and my hair is naturally very dark so like I didn't want to go extreme like blonde obviously because I knew that that wouldn't look very good on my hair um yeah I just wanted like a caramel color like what this is on my whole head like as highlights like not like every single strand of hair just like little bits here and there and she did the bottom layer really really nice like I love this but on the top of my hair it's just like chunks of color and it's orange and anyway like I had 50 breakdowns yesterday I know it's like such a superficial thing to get upset about but it just made my confidence go into the bin like I was just like didn't even want to leave the house like I had to go grocery shopping the day of and I was like I'm just gonna put my hair in a ponytail go to the shops like obviously I don't really care what people at the shops think of me but I don't like to feel like that as I'm sure like no one does yeah so I called the hair salon that I went to and I was like look <laughs> I got home because i got it partially dried i don't know if i mentioned that and then i styled it but, um, like myself when i got home so i didn't like get to see the full product which was an error on my behalf i guess um but yeah like still <laughs> when you get home and you do it yourself like you want you it's not my fault that it didn't turn out how i wanted to but anyway and i read online that like sometimes colors can just take a bit of time to like settle into your hair and stuff but this was like when i go into the sun the top of my hair and like the sh like it looks streaky it just makes my hair look dirty and yeah it's like orange like it's just not nice so I called the hair cell and i was like look it's my hair's orange like at the top and she's like oh yeah like i might just need to put a toner in i'm like yeah it's not really like exactly what i wanted um so she's like okay come in tomorrow so today because i called yesterday um so i'm gonna go in at quarter past three is my appointment and then tonight oh, look we're cutting a bit short i already had plans to go to dinner and to the movies so like that's all been booked and everything already before i had this hair appointment so i hope what they're gonna do is gonna take too long i'm lucky that it's like at 3 15 because the movie is like a bit later like at 6 30 um but yeah i don't know like i'm just gonna ask them to like I got a few more pictures just to make sure that they know what 100% what I was talking about um, because I didn't even want it like up on like near my roots at all and she did it like a little bit like from my roots and it just looks like streaky it's like one of those horror stories that you see on like fail pages of hair like it's I just did not like it here beautiful like the bottom layer is exactly what I wanted on the top layer and I don't know where it went wrong um yeah so that's my story <laughs> this is my birthday prep is not going to plan at the moment I had a like a massive sook yesterday and I didn't even sleep last night because I was just nervous like I don't like telling people I don't like what they did like I'm a very sympathetic and empathetic person and like I was like trying to practice what to say so I didn't sound like rude and like obviously I'm not going to be rude about it I'm just going to be like look it's not exactly what I wanted and uh, I don't expect to pay for this session either I really hope they don't make me pay like I'm going to clarify it obviously before I get anything done to my hair but yeah my mum's hairdresser she had a look at like what I showed them what I wanted and then like what actually happened to my hair and she's like no that's not that is not even close like really so she was like ask them to like darken your roots and like blend the color in at least and like tone the color and i was like okay i'm seriously just like not a confrontational person but like i did pay for it i have to start being an adult i did pay for it and it's not exactly what i wanted so yeah i might have to update you guys tomorrow because tonight's like this afternoon from like 2 p.m onwards it's gonna be like full-on like stress mode and then i have to like make it in time to the movies and stuff i'm gonna put on makeup though this time to go to my hair appointment because i am going out as well after that but because i don't want to look fugly <laughs> when i get this done and have it like affect how i feel about the hair as well Anyways, I'm going to chat to you guys hopefully tomorrow. It's been like 10 minutes that I've been talking. Um, wish me luck. 
really hope everything turns out okay. You guys see in like two seconds anyway, but yeah. Bye. Good morning. My hair is fixed. So I'm just gonna quickly explain what she ended up doing. Let's pop this like that. So wow. If I told, like, I don't think I thought about anything else. Sorry, I just put, like, tan on my face. That's why it probably looks a bit dirty. I'm going to go wash it off. If I told you how I did not think about anything else, except for my hair being done yesterday, I'd be lying to you. Um, so, I went in there, and I was like, she's like, she, like, um, the manager, like, remembered, and she's like, yeah, okay, cool. And then she, like, sat me down the chair. She's like, oh, it looks like it just needs, like, a tone. And I was like, mm, I reckon we just dye my hair to my natural color. And then she's like, yep, no problem. And then we can just tone, like, the other bits. So she did that. And, um, yeah, like, she dyed it, obviously, to my natural hair color as best as she could, considering it was, like, blonde or, like, orange. <laughs> And then she toned the rest of my hair. I don't know if you can see that. I haven't even looked at it properly because I was in such a rush yesterday. Because, like, obviously I had to go to dinner and, like, the movie. Um, the movie was really good. We saw the new James Bond movie. Very good. They're just so long. I was so tired. Um, but, yeah. So she said that, like, the bits here that were, like, highlighted, she toned down because she was obviously re-dyeing my hair back to my natural colour. So she didn't want it to be, like too light but then once i wash it like a few times these colors will start to come through so that's kind of like perfect i also hate how the lady cut my hair the first time she like did like weird layers i've never seen this done before but when i curl it like it looks okay but when it's straight it just looks a bit like i've got extensions in you know what i mean like it just looks a bit odd but it's fine I'm just so happy with the color and then it's like kind of back to what I wanted. But in two weeks I'm getting my nails done so that's when I'll check in because this has been a long-winded saga of getting my hair done. So, bye. Hello. So, it is a couple of weeks later now. It is the 1st of December and my birthday is in two days. So, it's on Friday. Today's Wednesday um, and it is currently... 6 30 in the morning today is nail day so this is still part of like my birthday prep hello i've probably showed you these like 50 times anyway but they're so overgrown and disgusting so i'm going to show you my inspo um i'm not 100 percent sure i'm going to get this also my hair's gotten quite a bit lighter since i last vlogged i'm actually going to open my blind so you can probably see a bit better I don't know if that's any better, but like up here you can kind of see a bit more of the highlights and um, I've washed it like maybe three-ish times since I got it done, um, like redone. And yeah, she said that, like every time you wash it, it'll probably get like a bit lighter. So I um, forgot that I have to talk a bit quiet because everyone's asleep. Um, but since it is the 1st of December... I'm going to open the first advent calendar thing. It's going to pop here. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Let's just pop here. There. Hello. So, I got this one for me and my boyfriend. Um, this was like $5 at Safeway because it was like last week that I got it. Um, and that was like the end of November. So... Anyways, let's find number one. There we go, number one. So I always like to like do the odd numbers because my birthday is on the third. So I always want to chop it on my birthday. I think this is like a like Santa sleigh or something. Oh my god, beautiful. The my inspire nails. If you can see that. Look, I get a bit scared. Hello. I get a bit nervous asking them for something like that. Because I feel bad. I'm like, oh, can we do this? <laughs> so I am back from the shops. Jesus Christ. So I had my appointment at 9am. Sorry about all the mess in the back. 
and it is now 11:50, and i just came home um but i had to get the well my old iphone that screen fixed because i cracked it um that took like half an hour so like these finished up at like maybe 10 30 so it took like an hour and a half but they're exactly like the photo how beautiful are they they were expensive but worth it because she did such a great job so very happy with them very different shape for me so i'm probably gonna add the vlog like here but i thought i'd just show you what i got from the shops um very small i was gonna go into kmart but i was just so tired and hungry that i was like i'm coming home i just had like a small bowl of oats um i'm actually going out to dinner tonight but like quite an early dinner at like probably five ish like 5 30 um not that early but we're leaving here quite early so it's now 11 50 i'll probably have like a lightish lunch a bit later or if i feel a bit hungry i'll eat anyway you don't really care um first got some wrapping paper um this is just from the reject shop and it was like 275 for three but i realized it's like i don't really know how long two meters by 70 centimeters is um but there's three cute like little rolls in here and i don't normally have that many like christmas presents to really wrap <laughs> that's a bit sad but um yeah there's like this cute like little colorful one with all the words on it santa and present and just says merry christmas um, but yeah, so that's that. And then Chemist Warehouse, I got the white nail polish for my toes. I literally just ooh, picked like one of the cheapest ones, Selling Hanson Extreme Wear. I'm pretty sure I have like a couple of other colors in this and it's not bad. I mean, like I'm not here to do like an amazing job on my toenails. Um, I got these fake lashes. I've been getting these for ages and they're just the Britney ones in, from the brand My MB Beauty. Um, and they're actually really good. So yeah, I bought them. I have a couple other pairs, but I just like to have backups. And I just got Barley Body Ultra Dark Tan, which I'm going to use on Friday. And you'll see me use this in that vlog anyways. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, <laughs> thanks for coming along on my like two month journey of prepping for my birthday. Two months, probably like a month. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with how everything has turned out. Thank God my hair got fixed. I know that was like a bit dramatic, but it was traumatic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will catch you guys in my next vlog, which I'm going to start on Friday. <laughs>